Hello, Gary Perkins, HCPC paramedic and director at Sussex First Aid Courses. Um, I've been asked many, many times, what type of training should we have in the dental practice regards our CPD? So I would just like to spend two minutes with you just explaining clearly what you should be doing. Many providers provide basic life support. Within your GDC um, requirements, you should be having your yearly, yearly CPT medical emergency update training. This should take around four hours all in all. You should be covering everything from oxygen therapy, the use of a pulse oximeter. You should be covering medical emergencies in fainting, asthma, chest pains, epilepsy, anaphylaxis, diabetes, also the choking patient. And within all their medical emergencies, your provider should be taking you through all the medications. That's the dosages, how to use them, when to use them, the signs and symptoms for each of these medical conditions. With that in mind, you should also be using your defibrillator, CPR, basic life support, but also intermediate life support. So within the dental practice, you should be trained in using what we call the BVM, bag valve mask for ventilations. Also your OP airways, oral pharyngeal airways for airway management. If you're um, a sedationist, then um, you should be training these days to be using the eye gels. The eye gels are the intermediate life support airway management system and they work very well with the bag valve mask indeed. So within your training there with your CPR, defibrillation um, and use of the airway management, you should be training in group scenarios also. So um, within that four hour package as it were, or the four hour training session you should be having each year, Yes, you should cover your oxygen therapy. Yes, you need to cover all your medical emergencies, including a choking. Then in team scenarios, you should be using the BVM. You should be using uh, training defibrillators, have chance to use eye gels. And, and most providers, or certainly we do ourselves, we have airway management systems where you have chance to practice using the airway system there, okay. So all in all, it takes about four hours. It does need to be enhanced CPD, so ensure that your provider's giving you certificates that are in line with your GDC requirements for enhanced CPD. Um, the days of just doing basic life support and, and, and for, for an hour or so are gone. You really should be doing quite a, an intense course, but it needs to be simple, practical and above all workable at the same time. There's no point getting so in depth that when you come to use this training in a medical emergency, you feel completely blown away as it were, okay? So keep it simple, keep it effective, above all, keep it workable, have your guidelines to hand. And we, we produce a medical emergencies um, color-coded manual written by myself purely for dental practices. And you can see this on our website, so if we can help you in any way regards training, um, your kit wise and development, then please give us a call, contact us uh, through our website and see if we can help you. Thank you.